Hi friends, today we will discuss what is provisioning, what is tedious provisioning. What is tedious? Tax deducted at source collecting tax on income, dividends or sale of asset. Payer to deduct the tax due before paying the balance to the payee. So, tax will be deducted at source itself. So, while paying, payer should deduct the TDS, remaining amount should be paid to the payee. This is called TDS. Source. So, we discussed it should be deducted at the source itself. So, paying rent by the companies, interest earned on fixed deposit, banks will deduct the TDS. While companies paying the rent to the payee, they will deduct the TDS. Payment of commission, then for example, BC partners, they will be working for the bank. When their banks will pay the commission, they will deduct the TDS. Salary payments, professional fee, lawyer fee, auditor fee, when companies are paying, they will deduct the TDS. What is TDS provisioning? When a payment is due or when actual payment is made, whichever is earlier. So, for example, while paying, you can deduct the TDS and you can pay to the payee. But it may be payment is due or when actual payment is made. Whichever is earlier, we have to deduct the TDS. For example, my scenario, I have taken one deposit is there in a bank, 10 lakhs rupees, 12% per annum, 5 years deposit, interest payment is quarterly. So, I have taken two options. One is every quarter interest will be credited to customer account. Second option, so interest will be paid on maturity. So, interest on fixed deposit is taxable. We have to deduct TDS. Option 1. So, interest is calculated quarterly. For our example, 30,000 has come. As per the, as per sample calculation, I said 10% is the TDS. What I will do? 30,000, I will book it as expenses and I will deduct 3,000 rupees and I will keep it in a TDS payable account and remaining 27,000, I will credit to the customer account. As per the guidelines, it may be for this month, whatever the TDS I have deducted, next month before 7th or 8th, I will remove entire the amount from the TDS payable account and I will credit to the bank account because it will go to the government. So, here there is no provisioning I am doing. This month I am collecting, next month I am paying. But second option is like customer wants to take the interest on maturity, not on quarterly. Then how bank will go for the provisioning? So, what I will do quarterly, I will book the interest 30,000 rupees and I will keep the TDS payable 3000 rupees and interest I am not paying to the customer. I will keep it in as a liability interest payable account 27000. So, what I will do the same next month I will deduct from the TDS payable account. I will remit to the bank for the government payment. But actually this 27000 will be given to the customer on maturity only. So, on maturity what I will do? While paying to the customer, I will deduct the payable account and I will give to the customer account. So, in previous scenario, I am booking the expenses. TDS will be given to the directly to the government. Remaining amount, we are giving to the customer account. But here, we are keeping in a payable account. After that, we will keep it as a liability. Any payable account, it may be TDS payable or it may be interest payable, all will as a liability because on a future date, we have to pay. Actual payment is not happening, but still payment is calculated, interest is calculated, then you have to deduct the TDS and you have to keep it in TVS provisioning. So, that should be collected on the maturity date or customer payment date. Thank you friends. If you like my video, please subscribe and share with your friends also.